So I just got a really good question about creative ways to use side chaining with compression. And creative meaning other than side chaining your baseline from your kick drum, because that's the standard compression method. So what I did is I assembled a little sketch here that has some percussive stuff going on. And some sustaining stuff. Here's my favorite way to use creative side chaining. Whenever I want two sounds to call and respond each other, I actually don't use the compressor, I use the expander, also known as a gate. And what I do is I flip it after I've set up the side, side chain input. So I'm going to go to that operator percussion track. Here we go. Now, of course, I have to really fine-tune my attack and hold and release. One of my favorite way things to, ways to use this is just to use it subtly, so I'll turn this floor up. Also tweak that return threshold. Then once I get it dialed in, I'll take a stereo effect like a, like a ping pong delay or something. So now, it's a cool way to add some kind of like rhythmic gating to your pads. Let's try it just without the percussion sound at all. What's cool about this technique is now I can go to my like kind of ghost sound and I can use this amplitude envelope to shape. So it makes space for that, and if you keep it muted, and then way later bring in that percussion sound that's fitting that spot, it can be awesome. I like using it just with the hi-hat too. I mean, check it out. Let's do one more clip here. academy.com we've got online classes in ableton sound design and plenty of other fun topics